Well, here comes the long walk from Danielle Chesky. And this could be an enormous moment just nine minutes into this game. King awaits her fate. She's reaching for a red card. And Zara King has been sent off on a Lundquist. Top right of your screen. Has shifted here in Seattle. Wesley pumps it forward. Ricochets around. Ball flicked off the underside of the bar. Follow up is Weston. Caruso grabs the goal and San Diego has the lead. Wow, talk about punishing a team as soon as they went down to 10 players, Mike. You know, they still win this season and to go down in this way. Yeah, it's poor defending. McLernan, Cook, nowhere near. Maybe the players were still thinking about the red card. It looked like they weren't really switched on for the set piece, you could see. But Caruso is in the right place at the right time, following off of a really good shot. To that OG2, and I think Balser, along with Huerta, players that have taken on that responsibility quite a bit. Yeah, it's difficult as well, because Laura Harvey said it herself, we'll never find another Megan Rapino. We're not trying to find another Megan Rapino. But I think the psychological impact of losing Emily Sonnet, Megan Rapino, Rose Lavelle. Van Egmond, Ivory knocks it down. It was a set piece, a free kick. It made the difference previously, now toward the penalty spot. And James Turner sends this away as far as Colaprico. Far from done, McLernan closing down. Lundqvist, McLernan got a piece, Colaprico sliding ahead through from Van Egmond, Carosa! San Diego is striving for more inside 20 minutes. So I'll be looking for this to be in and around the penalty spot. Barnes, one arm up, offers, ball flicked wide. Sheridan, give it away! Bolzer's got it! Bolzer scores! Shaw gets the first touch of the second half. Here we go. Huerta spun free. Torpy clips it across. McCaskill lost her footing. She was about to try and take the net off its bearings. Slid free. Comes out. Carusa that partially blocked. Back heel. Tees up. Shot is saved by Ivory. It is right at Ivory from Van Egmond. Yeah, and I think as soon as it gets to around the 60th minute mark, this lobbed over the top. That's going to hang up a bit. Oh, what a move. Ball deflects and finds its way wide. About Jaden Shaw and how she's taken that news bomb, because when you're a competitor, when you're a player, you want to play in every game. She's in a really good moment with the national team. And Casey said she's been a fantastic teammate. She's been good to have around. No doubt she has a bright future. And yes, I like the fact that these coaches are protecting the players. But I think ultimately, sometimes you have to let the reins off and just let players like Jaden Shaw play. The cultured right foot of McCaskill, or the excellent left foot of Sanchez. McCaskill went toward goal, ball knocked away, picked back up. Sanchez sends it up top. Ball blasted from a long way. Oh, no, what a save! Ivory! Lambert House for her. Ball forward from Shaw. Shaw got the return. Shaw lets fly. Ivory didn't have to move all that much. She has scored some worldies. She went for goal. It is swallowed up by Sheridan. No rebound. The Rainer preparing another change, but first, can they find a lead? G. Header to the back post. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Let's go!
and G, look at this reverse header. One of the best headers I've seen this season and last season. Look at this. To generate the power, it was a really good ball in from G to the near post, but to generate this type of power from Latsko, Kayla Sheridan's got no charge. What a header that is. Do you believe this? Another late goal between these teams. Still down to 10 players. This is the moment you got to get it right. Sheridan is inching toward the halfway line. Is she going to go up? Not yet. Ball hung across. Header down by Shaw. Grabbed by Ivory. With 40 seconds or so remaining. Sanchez. Ivory comes down with the ball. Well done, Ivory is exactly what you need in these dying seconds. She's running toward McNabb, who seems to already know the answer. Back pocket, red card sent off. Unavailable for San Diego going into the midweek, too. It's really hard to tell, Mike, if they're... But now, if you don't have Germa... Finally! Finally, it's over! Seattle, no more sleepless nights. Their 34-day, five-game losing streak in the rearview.